Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. So today we are going to be doing some fall planter planting, right? Yes, I've got some beautiful kales, cabbages, um, mums, no wait, asters, <gasps> asters. And uh, we're gonna put them in these two beds behind me. So it, even though I don't look like it's fall, it's fall. It's a beautiful 20 degrees today. Uh, it's really warm actually in the sun. I had to just go change because I was too warm. But we're actually going to get some beautiful fall plants in here. Some more winter interest spooky vibes. I don't know, I'm very excited. I have an array of plants that I picked up uh, this morning and we're gonna get them in these two guys right behind me here. So I just cleared these out recently. Oh, there's the sun. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna place some things in there. So first, let me see, okay, so here are my plants. They're all down here. Sorry, there's kind of like a wheelbarrow in the way. There's a lot going on. Uh, we have some beautiful blood grass, Red Baron Japanese blood grass which I kind of want to put in the middle of both planters. These are a perennial though. So one second here. Height 18 to 20 inches. What's that? Two feet? Two feet? Two feet. Honestly, I think we're going to do it. I think I'm just going to do it. Is that, a, is that a bird? <laughs> is this is a giant bird. Okay, so I'm gonna put these beautiful Japanese blood grasses in the middle. And then I think we're gonna do these guys. I just took these out of a different planter, which kind of works. We're gonna go one. Two, three, like this behind here. Now it is fall and things don't tend to grow nearly as fast, so I can kind of pack these in a little bit more. We have three asters, which I've actually never grown before, so we have three cute little asters here. We're gonna stick them, I think, in the back. Like this, like this, like this. And we are going to stick some of this kale and cabbage in the front. I have two, I think I have three different varieties of beautiful like flowering cabbages one is more of a white you can see them the middle is already starting to look really 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 sexy i love that we're gonna do one two mm, let's do this guy here right and then one two three in the top one ah. hopefully they fill out a little bit but I think that's good for now. They should. I don't know if I want to put this ivy in or not. What do we think? Hmm? An ivy creeping out the side? I think that'd be kind of cute, right? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. All right, so I'm just going to focus on getting these into the planter and I'll catch up with you when it's done.
All right, that is done. I actually had to pull two plants from another spot, some beautiful carnations, which are a perennial as well, just to kind of help like fill out this top area. The thing is in the fall, you can get away with kind of squishing more together because things don't grow nearly as fast. We have much shorter days. It's not as warm, all that kind of goodness. So I pulled two beautiful carnations, which kind of go with the white that's gonna be happening in the center of these kales. So that's nice. And I love the blood grass in the middle. Like I said, these are also perennials. So he should be getting like kind of twice as big and he is definitely going to be like a center plant moment. Here, if they survive, they are a zone five, which is like on the cusp of my zone. So we'll see how they do in a raised planter bed. Typically, if you're putting something in a planter, it should be a zone lower than yours, if not more, to help with the fact that there's gonna be more frost um, getting to the roots because they're not in ground, right? But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I think this looks gorgeous. I'm really happy I got the, the ivy as well. This guy I might try to bring in in like a month uh, if he makes it and uh, overwinter him, but everything else will kind of just chill here until it gets real cold and we'll see how it goes. But anyways, let me know what you think. Uh, are you putting in kales and asters and whatever the heck this thing is? I always forget what this thing is. They're so weird. I love them, but I also think they're really weird, but they're pretty, but I, I had spares, so I decided to put them in anyway. Forget what they are. They're weird. <laughs> Did I say that? Well, all right guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're sprucing up, sprucing, wow. Sprucing up your planters for fall. And I uh, hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you have not, I would love to have you here. And I also have a free OnlyFans. <gasps> OnlyFans.com slash Wolf of the Wild, as well as member sites, member sites, member button, a join button. You can become a member here and get exclusive videos. First look at videos. Uh, members get them first, typically at least two to three days ahead of time. And uh, more photo shoots. Wow. Photo shoots and behind the scenes. All right, guys. Anyways, talk to you soon. Bye.